Let's make these cute DIY bunny butts. This is just a quick little tutorial to show you how to make a bunny butt like the one that I made on my tear tray because not everybody has access to an X tool and I know that. So we're going to be making this small one and I'm going to show you how to do it and there's other patterns on here um, for you to make different sizes. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut out the small one and my voice is kind of weird because of course I have sinus issues. <laughs> Go figure. But I'm going to do this old school and just take a pencil and I'm going to rub on the back and I'm going to make a transfer. And then I'm going to take a pen and I'm going to transfer it onto cardboard. You can use any cardboard. Um, this is just a thicker cardboard that I had, you know, from probably one of my Amazon packages or orders. But anyway, I'm just going to trace this on with a pen and then I'll lift it up and show you that it transfers very well. Okay. There's all of my parts on there and I'm just going to cut it out. Then after I cut them out, those are my pieces. I'm not worried about the little dots. I'm going to take this microfiber cloth from the Dollar Tree. You can find them in the automotive section and it has a fluffy side and a not so fluffy side. I want the not so fluffy side. And I'm just going to take my cardboard piece and I'm going to fussy cut around and I don't want this the same size. I want it a little bigger so I can fold it in. Then I'm going to lay my cardboard down and cut one the exact same size. And this is going to cover up all of my cardboard and seal those edges in. And uh, you'll see what I'm talking about in just a minute. So I'm going to do this for all of my um, my feet and my butt, okay? For the pink part, I am just going to take a Sharpie and I'm going to trace on my felt these are itty bitty so um, just tracing will do and then we're going to fold it over and I'm going to cut around that um, tracing mark that I put on there and this is going to be my two little uh, pink parts on my paw mine came out pointy so I had to stink and round them out just a little bit better but anyway that you know it ain't going to be perfect okay so you want the not so fluffy I mean you want the fluffy side now and you're going to glue your cardboard down. Then you're just going to take glue and you're going to go around. And you're going to carefully um, roll the edge in and push it down. Okay. And this is going to put our um, fur on our butt. <laughs> so to speak. And then I'm going to take this part that was um, the one that we cut right. And I'll just put a dot in the middle. And then I'm going to go around the edges. You see what I'm doing here. Be careful you don't get burnt. And you can pull off any extra fuzz that happens to be uh, coming off um, because it will fuzz a little bit. So, And then when I get that done, I'll trim it up a little bit if it needs trimming. Um, and there you go. So for the feet, I am just going to do the same thing. Um, these I did trim up quite a bit because they were so big when I got done. Uh, my feet were almost as big as my butt, so I didn't want, you know, I didn't want that like that. So when you trim your fur down on the top, bottom, and sides, like I'm doing here, it will shape your foot just a little more and calm your big foot down. So now that I got everything the way I want it, I'm just going to put, oh, I'm not, I'm still trimming. I'm sorry, I didn't see what I was doing down there, y'all. Don't need to see this, okay? Okay, now. I'm all trimmed up, so I am going to take my pink part and just put a dot of glue and push that pink part down on there. And then, um, you know, you cannot cut out little bitty circles of uh, felt that's going to be on there. So that's why I showed you with the little one. On the bigger ones, you might can get away with it, but these little ones, you know, you don't want to do that. That's too much trouble. So I'm just going to take my pink paint and my dotting tool I get I got this one at the Dollar Tree and I'm just gonna dot in there and I'm going to put dots for my little pink toes okay now that I got all my pieces together I'm just gonna assemble my butt you want your point of your butt up then you're gonna put one foot on with hot glue and then or whatever glue you want and then put the other foot on there you go and then I'm just gonna take a little pink pom-pom and put the pom-pom on the on the butt for the tail and there you have it an easy bunny butt thank you for watching